like tranny food. What the fuck can I get? <laughs> Just one of those really disappointing, it's too good to be true kind of best buy deals. A Generac IX 2000. This is an inverter generator. How does an inverter generator work? Simple. The alternator is the flywheel of the crank of this glorified lawnmower engine. That flywheel is nothing but a giant magnet that spins over a giant magneto system that takes heavy amounts of AC current and snaps it into an acceptable 60 hertz current using two giant capacitors. The reason why this is done, you can see, it makes it more efficient per square inch to be used like this. And while it might be old technology, if it's done right, it works great. The reason why I'm gravity feeding this generator its fuel is because the fuel system is just as bad. Here's how these things work. It's too compact to have a normal carburetor and fuel delivery system. So what they did was they took an oil pressure based fuel pump. I, you heard that right. It needs adequate vacuum slash uh, pump pressure from the crank. It uses the crank pressure so every time that piston starts hitting in a way in that crankshaft it moves the oil in that thing, which then allows this tiny little, like, it looks like a purge canister, like an ECM purge canister on, like, a car. That kind of a thing. And it's supposed to pulse and allow it to pulse fuel through the system. Now, in theory, this would work great to help deliver fuel in a fuel loop that would have the ability of bringing it around. But here's the problem with this system. There is open gas lines in this system, and it is purposefully done so it can... See, you know how, like, when you blow into a hose, and then all of a sudden the water keeps going based upon gravity? That's what this does. That's all it does, and in order to keep the loop going, it has two exposed fuel lines that come off the carburetor's floats and drench down to the bottom to help create a positive vacuum feed. Now, it works really good... At first, and in theory, like I've said, but because this is, again, oil pressure based upon the crank's position, you know, you have too much oil, it's not going to work. You have too few oil, it's not going to work. It doesn't prime for shit, you know, because there's no prime system on this, and a choke is only good on these things if the goddamn thing has fuel in the float, which, <laughs> if this thing's been sitting... Like, every single dad who impulse bought this because this was a probably a $500 special at, like, Best Buy. And it was probably worth getting this piece of crap $500 generator versus losing over twelve grand worth of goddamn meat in their industrial freezer downstairs. So every dad's gonna buy one. And, of course, every dad is gonna put it away under a tarp and probably try to use it on December 22nd. 
and then realize after this nor'easter that this piece of shit won't start, and he's scratching his head and saying, maybe it's god old chaos. But in reality, it's just a failure to deliver this. And by the way, oil will mix into the gas. And that's not a problem. You kind of need a four-stroke to burn out just a hair of oil just to get it running a little bit better. And it's not going to hurt it in any form of way. But when it sits in a carburetor, sometimes it can sink the float, which in this case, it has. And I've tried to get this float to stay in best of condition as I can, and I just cannot get it positively working. So... <laughs> So, what I did is, I'm just gravity feeding the carburetor gas, and even then, the carburetor float is stuck. Um, I took a screwdriver to it, and then it unstuck it. Then it got stuck again, prior to me recording this. So, what did I do? Took it apart, made a float bolt out of trash, and then realized that the seal was broken, and that it wasn't repairable, and then I just took some liquid gasket and said, fuck it, and I just gasketed the float bowl together and it seems like it's working but it's still sort of drenching gas out of one of the actual ports and then there's all this EPA emissions bullshit on it there's a catalytic converter that giant you see this giant exhaust on the back of it yeah that's that's a catalytic it's, this thing complies with uh, class 3 emissions uh, tier 3 emissions on generators and it is stupid how bad this thing really is um the power to performance ratio is shit. It does not handle its recommended surge rating. It says constant of 2000, and that space heater you just saw was 1000. Now, under max surge, it should handle 2200, and they advertise it as this thing could boast its balls around putting 2000 watts out. Meanwhile, it can't handle a surge load of 1000 watts, even if it was to save its life. Now, this might just be due to the carburetor being clogged up with crap. I'm going to give this another try another day with a brand new carburetor that I just built. Uh, one of those larger CFM Briggs Unicarbs and see if I can get some better results. But this is just <laughs> shit. I, that's how I, I'm going to put it because there's, nowhere, there's no other appropriate manner to say it as it really is a shitty generator. And they discontinued these things. And I should mention, when I first tried firing it up before disassembling the entire engine, uh, it lit on fire. So that's loads of fun, you know? Hey, if it doesn't power my house, at least it'll start a fire. I gotta have heat somehow, right? You know, in all honesty, this thing should have been recalled. This is Generac, a prestigious generator company who has built such a glorified piece of sub-generator trash. And, you know... They didn't even have the balls to buy them back. They didn't have the balls to announce, Hey, man, maybe you should uh, stop using this model. Uh, we'll give you like at least a coupon, 50% off, or even 25% off a newer model. But Generac, you know, all quality control standards confirm to their warranty standards, and God forbid it doesn't run. It's not in our warranty. It's not our fault. Cool. You can legally have a pipe bomb blow up for someone who wants to run a fridge, but, you know, it's not your fault because you guys built it and we're using it out of your specifications. I mean, you could put all you want in your manual about do not drink contents of fuel tank, but there's nothing in there about fuel leakage on excessive levels. This is terrible. And this thing should have been recalled for obvious safety concerns. But the generator is really trying. You see right there, it surged. I bet you it's about to stall. Yeah, right there, just overloaded. And a stall. What a total piece of dog shit.